Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can change the Nify logo, basically adding a custom logo to fit our use case. First, what you want to do, you want to go and inspect the item on your browser and you can identify the logo image name. Once you save that particular information, you want to go down to your GitHub repository and download the official Nify repo onto your local host. Copy the Git URL. Navigate to your local host, create a, an area. In this case, I have the NiFi source folder created. So you can see sits into my local user path and run the Git clone. After the download complete, navigate to the NAR, loca NAR bundle location where our images assets are located. So list all the contents of the source that you just downloaded and navigate to NAR bundles. NiFi framework bundles, NiFi framework, NiFi web, NiFi web UI, source, main, web app, and images. Now let's list the contents of this folder. Here you can see we can identify the NiFi uh, logo. SVG that we saw when we inspected the item on the web browser. Next, we want to copy our logo in the same folder. So in my case, I'm going to use the inside byte logo. It has to be an SVG. Copy it locally. And now let's replace the NiFi logo with my inside byte SVG using the move command. Great. Now let's navigate to our main folder where we're going to run the maven command. So copy the full path and navigate to your NiFi source NiFi. So right now this is where we are. We're going to navigate back to the source of our code. So NiFi source NiFi. Here you got to make sure you have maven installed. The way you can do that uh, it's either check if it is installed by typing maven and version. If you don't have it just go ahead and install it. Next, we will run the maven clean install command. This will take quite a while depending on the machine that you have. So from the same directory, you're going to run this command. We're going to use the flag to skip test. I'll paste this command in the video description so you guys can use it as it is. This will take quite quite some time depending on your machine like i said in this case i'm going to fast forward so we get to the outcome so you can see i got to the outcome basically it took uh 32 minutes and i'm running on a mac m1 machine right once this is complete let's clear the screen and then let's navigate to the <coughs> sorry let's navigate to the assembly folder in the same uh, path. Here you're gonna see, we're gonna list the fold files, and you can see you have a folder called target. Here in this location, you're gonna have the snapshot or the zipped source that we've compiled with the Maven clean install. All right. So what we'll do next? We'll take a copy of that particular uh, snapshot zip, and we're gonna look, and we're gonna move it to a new location. So in this case, I'm going to create a, a folder called uh, NiFi custom under my OPT um, folder. And we're going to unzip this guy while we're copying it into that location. Let's copy our newly zipped source code into the new created location. Uh, make sure you write the right command, adding the C flag. Um, and let's jump into that folder. While navigating to the folder, we can see that, that we have the new NiFi snapshot there. Jump into it and let's list everything. Basically, we have the same content of a NiFi installation. Before we start the service, let's jump into the configuration and change the port of our NiFi property files. I'm doing this because I already have a NiFi installation on and I don't want it to collide with the port user. So search for the port. 
and then let's add, let's just edit that let's add port 8 111 for this use case save and exit now let's navigate back one level and go to our bin directory and let's start our NIFI installation Let's check the status and we can see that it's not yet running. Um, what I'll do in the meantime, I'll jump into the logs so I can capture also the user and generate a password at the initial startup time. So we're going to do a tail on the log. I'm going to fast forward really quick. We can see that the server is available in my local host at this port at NiFi. So let's jump into a browser. Paste in the URL that we just copied. Go to advanced, accept and continue. And now let's go back to the log to fetch the user and password from our logs. If you scroll up a bit in your log, you will see you'll have generated username and generated password. So let's copy that, paste it in and do the same for the password. Great. Now let's log in and see if the logo was updated and there you go it's an ugly logo <laughs> don't get me wrong but that's the end result of this tutorial we managed to change it basically you can use the same approach to change any um, let's say default items on your canvas and customize it to your needs All right so this is the end of this tutorial i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one